everyone, welcome to Adventures in Everyday Cooking, where every day can be an adventure in your kitchen. My name is Heather, and today we are gonna put our air fryer to the frozen test. Pot stickers, frozen burritos, pizza rolls. And we're gonna see how it does and if this is a viable way to cook your treats. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, first things first, go ahead, if you're using the Deluxe Air Fryer from Pampered Chef, go ahead and put your screen in the top. And then we're gonna go ahead and get it started on air fry. Um, and we'll just set it for 25 minutes, just so it's heating up. Okay, so take your, take your parchment paper and open it up if you're using pre-cut. I just bought these pre-cut ones because they were on sale and I wanted to kind of see what they were all about and um, having a lot of fun with these pre-cut things. Like, to not have to fight with the box. I don't know, maybe it's a little silly of me, but I like them. I'm gonna put one rack down on my parchment paper, and the reason that we wanna put it down on the parchment paper is because we're gonna spray oil all over it, and I don't wanna get it all over my counter or anything. Okay, so this is the pot stickers from Trader Joe's. I'm just going to pour them out and arrange them on here kind of like that. See how easy that was? Like you real when you do them in the pan, you have to like make sure that they're down and up and over and whatever. And I found with this, hey, you don't, you don't gotta do nothing. So let's go ahead and spray our pot stickers with oil. That's it. That's all we have to do. So let's just make sure all the little places are sprayed with oil. And now we're gonna move over to the air fryer and get them into the air fryer. Now the air fryer has been heating up for about three minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and push cancel. And then we're gonna stick it back on air fry. And I'm gonna turn it on for about eight minutes. And then we're gonna just start again. And then go ahead and pop these in there. Vanna, can I have our next item up for the air fryer? Boom! We are gonna do some frozen burritos. Let me give you a tip though. I have done this one before. They will cook perfectly fro from frozen, but they will take a lot longer than if you just put them in the microwave for say one minute to take the frost off and then put them in. So I'm gonna put them on a plate, put them in the microwave for one minute. So two burritos for one minute, just to get them a little soft. One minute. And while that minute is going, Vanna, do you have another item that we can put in the air fryer? Pizza rolls, upside down pizza rolls, pizza rolls. Okay, so this one is cut and dry. We are just going to slap some right on our tray. And I'm gonna leave some room for my burritos, so I'm not gonna do very many. And then we're gonna hit them with some oil. And our burritos are ready. All right, after one minute, they're still frozen, but they are softer, that's what we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and place both of these burritos right on our tray. And I'm gonna cover them with, whoa, that was a lot of, maybe just a little less than that. This thing just sprays out. That's all we're going to do. So we could go ahead and stick it in the air fryer right now at the five minute mark. So let's go ahead and do that. So as you can see, there's five minutes left and these are gonna go in as well. Ooh, those look so good in there. All right, four minutes. So we'll remember at four minutes that those have been in for four minutes. All right, here at the end of eight minutes, let's check out our pot stickers. And it looks like I want another couple minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on air fry and I'll turn it to about four minutes, which is a total of 12 minutes. So that keeps my pizza rolls just at the right spot. All right, one minute left. Let's see our results. All done. And you know it's done because it says end. All right, so let's go ahead and take out our pot stickers first. Oh my goodness. Those look fantastic. Wow. 
they look so beautiful so I'm just gonna kind of set them on our little tray here so that we can get a good picture because you know all about that thumbnail right I have the worst time doing thumbnails though so if you clicked on this because you saw a thumbnail well then that'll just make my day leave that comment in the comments below because thumbnails are so tough all right now up next the burritos and the pizza rolls look at those Wow, those look fantastic. So I'm just gonna set those two burritos right on there. And then I'm gonna set those pizza rolls right out here. All right, time for the big reveal. And we will try really hard not to drop them on the floor. That's happened. If you've watched my videos before, you know it's a thing. All right, time for the taste test. Let's decide if we think this method is better or the traditional method. So let's start with the pot sticker first. Um, I already know that I prefer this method because I don't have to get my whole kitchen covered in oil. Just that parchment paper and the inside of my fryer. So, mmm. I super duper love pot stickers. I feel like at 12 minutes, some of these are definitely done and crispy and others of them are a little bit soft, like if they were just steamed, which might be a perfect combination for your family. If your family all likes crispy, then give them a toss before you go on like halfway in between and see if you can get all of the sides crispy. If you like them all soft, then pull them out before they get crispy. Probably about eight minutes. All right, let's taste our pizza rolls next. Mmm. Do you hear that? Mmm. The filling on the inside is still piping hot, but not so hot that it burns you. You guys that eat pizza rolls, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and the outside is actually pretty crispy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eight minutes in the air fryer, that's pretty good. I may leave them for 10 minutes next time, but at eight minutes, those are really acceptable. All right, now time for the frozen burrito. Now you know, I defrosted this for just one minute in the microwave. Um, that way it could kind of have a running chance. So let's see how it is now. Oh, that's hot. Mmm. And it's nice and crunchy. Mmm. That's very acceptable. That's really good. So this took eight minutes, nine minutes if you count the one minute in the microwave. And that is a way better burrito than the soggy burrito that usually comes out of the microwave. That's really good. But, I don't know. I think all three wins. What do you think? Would you be willing to try this? I think the frozen burritos in the microwave are never again gonna happen in my life when I have the air fryer. Because that is crispy, the inside is nice and hot, um, texturally, it's amazing for a frozen burrito. Um, so yes, for sure on the frozen burritos. The pizza rolls, again, super for sure on the pizza rolls because you have that crispy outside and the warm and gooey inside, yet it's not so piping hot you burn yourself. Big deal, big deal. And of course, our pot stickers, 100% yes. Now I don't have oil all over my kitchen, all over my stove. Instead, it was contained in the little box and the amount of oil that I used was way less than I would have used in a pan. So all of these frozen treats in the air fryer are a big win. What about you? 
Are you willing to try anything frozen in your air fryer? If you are, leave me a message in the comments below and I would love to know how it turned out because as you see, I'm always up for the adventure in the air fryer. All right, you guys, we'll see you next time. Bye.